It happens twice a week. Thousands of Haitians cross the border with the Dominican Republic to a free trade zone to buy food and other items to take back to Haiti. But because of the ongoing crisis, those arriving are desperate to take back whatever they can. Jeanette says she buys beef to resell in Haiti. There's no food in Haiti and there are too many problems. Haitians are facing a calamity right now. I take this back and sell it in other cities. It is the only thing I can do right now. People buy beef, sausages and any protein they can afford. People here tell us that there's almost no food in many areas in Haiti because of the ongoing situation and that's why they come here to buy beef, vegetables and anything else they can find. Authorities in the Dominican Republic refer to places such as this one as a survival market because it's meant to cover people's most basic needs. There is another market at the border where people buy eggs, medicines and other goods. Haitians are not allowed to stay in the Dominican Republic, in spite of the violence on the streets in Haiti, where the government has extended a state of emergency. Prime Minister Ariel Henry is still abroad, and gangs on the streets say his return will cause more chaos. But it's the civilians who are suffering the most because of the ongoing violence. The situation in the country is critical. People can no longer go about their business. Our children can no longer go to school. Merchants can't go to the market and no one can move around the country. We have a prime minister, but we don't know whether he's dead or alive because he's lost in the wild. And that's why there are growing calls to force Prime Minister Henry to facilitate a transition. There are also calls to deploy a multinational security mission to help restore stability. Kenya had earlier agreed to deploy 400 elite police forces to assist the Haitian police. Cristóbal de Puy says the mission is unique and crucial. The biggest challenge right now is getting support from the countries not to send troops but police forces to support the Haitian police. This is not a traditional peacekeeping operation. It is a mandate by the UN Security Council to deploy a mission led by Kenya. That's a different architecture. There need to be funds, there need to be more forces. But until that happens, Haitians continue to struggle to survive, traveling for hours to find food in another country. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Dajabón.